Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we will talk about PLS predict in Smart PLS. The algorithm has been developed by Smuley et al. 2016. The basic purpose of this algorithm is to test whether my PLS model does not overfit the data or not. So for this purpose, we are having two settings. One, the number of folds. The second, the number of repetitions which we have to do on the data set. Now, what this algorithm will do, it will divide the data set into 10 equal parts if we have specified the default is equal to 10. After splitting the data into 10 equal parts, the 9 will be kept for the training data set and 1 will be kept for the testing data set. Say for example, if we are having 200 observations, then 10 subsets will be done which will contain 20 observations per subset. Then the algorithm predicts 10 times each fold with the 9 remaining subsets. Now the purpose of doing this again and again is to get the stable estimates of the coefficient. We will have to also specify the number of repetitions we want to do this exercise. So the number of repetition indicates how often PLS predict algorithm runs the k-fold cross validation on the random splits of the full data set into k into k folds. After running this algorithm, the errors will be generated for the linear model as well as the PLS model. Both the errors will be compared. The comparison will be done of RMSE, that is root mean square error. MAP mean absolute percentage error, MA mean absolute error. Most of the time we compare the errors RMSE and MA mean absolute percentage error is a biased measure. We will only go for PLS model if the error is less in PLS model compared to the linear. You can see here the fourfold cross validation, how it will be working. Say for example, if our data set is uh, uh, this, then this much is considered as a testing data set and this is a training data. In the second iteration, now this is a testing data and remaining are the training data. So this we will repeat four times. So that's the reason it is known as a fourfold cross validation. Now, let us see how we can do this in Smart PLS. We had already discussed that to get the blind folding, the Q square measure, we will have to go in PLS predict because now the Q square measure has been incorporated in PLS predict. So, calculate PLS predict. You can see here it is asking me a detail that 10 folds, yes, number of repetitions, 10. Start the calculation and the results are ready. Click on open report. Here MV stands for the manifested variable, LV stands for the latent variable. Now for the comparison, I will go in MV prediction summary overview. So you can see here the errors of PLSM model, that is RMSE of PLSM, MAE of PLSM, LM of uh, RMSE of linear model and mean absolute error of linear model. Now, which errors to compare RMSE or MA? For that, there is a procedure. Let's see the procedure. First is assess the PLSM Q square predict value for all indicators of the measurement model. Are they less than zero or equal to zero? Then straightforward terminate the process. Let the predictive relevance not confirm, check for data and measurement model issues, you cannot go ahead. So first check the Q square predict. So let's go there. We will go in MV prediction summary overview and first thing we should check is this figure. All of them are having the value greater than 0, fine. So it means that now we will have to go for the this part. Is your Q square predict greater than 0? Yes. Are prediction errors highly symmetrically distributed or not? Yes or no? Now how to test this? So for this, again you will go back and check PLSM MV error histograms. 
this you will get for measured variable of the endogenous construct all those measured variables which are there on endogenous construct you will get for it and you will have to check its histogram let me show you on this graphical one two three four this is endogenous because all the errors are are coming inside the construct i'll click on open report again and i'll do check their histograms now how to do the interpretation i'll copy this chart and take it in the word file i'll draw the vertical line at zero that is a mean centered zero error edge that is a mean error zero and i will connect this points so i what i get is that the error is not distrib uh, symmetrically distributed for si1 okay now let us check for si2 no it's not symmetrically distributed si3 not at all si4 now what to do in the scenario if the errors are not symmetrically distributed let us see if the errors are not symmetrically distributed you use mean absolute error for comparison of the pls model with the linear model and if they were normally distributed you would have used rmsa so i have to check that the errors in pls sam are they less than linear model or not okay how we will do this again i will go back and i'll click on mv prediction summary and these are the errors which i have to come back copy to excel take it in excel control v two square we have already completed delete i cannot use rmse of plsm as well as of linear model because the errors are not normally distributed if they were distributed i i would have used this method so i am deleting this also i am deleting this also so this is a mean absolute error of pls sem algorithm and this is a linear now i have to take the difference of it so b2 minus c2 enter it is negative this means that the error in pls sem model are less in comparison to lm model you can see here you can compare this also you can compare this also so for all the four measured variable the errors are less that is pls sem is having less error in comparison to lm model linear model again go to the flow chart the flow chart says check if pls sem is less than lm that is errors are less for all indicators it means that your model is having a high predictive power is it clear it means as all of them confirm it is it means that the model is having a high predictive power now there can be a scenario where one of them is positive out of four one of them is positive it means that the error in error is less in linear model so out of four three are towards pls sem and one is towards linear model so means majority of them are towards pls now what to interpret for a majority of the indicators if it is so then your model is having a medium predictive power now there can be a scenario in which three are towards a linear model and one are towards a pls sem minority so in that scenario what you will say for a minority of indicators low predictive power now there can be a scenario none of them are having values so none of them are having values less all of them are having means here the difference is positive so pls sem is generating more error in comparison to the linear model if that is the scenario then you will land up here predictive relevance not confirm check the data again go to the measurement model check the issues which are there check the reliability and validity then you will have to come here so for more videos on smart pls 
kindly refer to my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos which are related to smart pls you can subscribe my channel you can press the like button you can also follow me on linkedin and twitter